सॉल्व वन प्लस फाइव कॉस थ्री एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वेर एक्स लाइ इन द इंटरवल जीरो टू टू हियर दे टोल्ड यू टू सॉल्व सो यू शुड फाइंड द वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स सैटिस्फाइंग दिस इक्वेशन एंड ऑल्सो इट शुड लाइ इन दिस इंटरवल नाउ हियर यू शुड गेट द आंसर इन रेडियंस For that, put your calculator in radiance mode. I repeat, put your calculator in radiance mode. Now, the given equation is one plus five cos three x equal to zero. Here you have cos, so now you make cos the subject. So remove all the connections connected to cos. First. You should remove this plus one. To remove plus one, you subtract one. So you get five cos three x equal to minus one. Now you should remove five. To remove five, you divide by five. So now we get cos three x equal to minus one by five. Now to get the values for three x. Here it is cos and here it is negative. So now you should check in what all quadrants is cos negative. It is all silver T cups. So cos is negative in the second and in the third. So three x equal to to get an angle in the second quadrant. We should do pi minus. Cos inverse one by five. To get an angle in the third quadrant, we should do pi plus cos inverse one by five. Now, three x equal to. Before you calculate this, make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Now put this in the calculator. You should get one point seven seven. Calculate this. You should get four point five one. Now the question arises: In what interval should the values for three x lie? Question two. Here more, how many values shall I find for three x? That we decide in this way. See, here x lie in this interval. We need to get three x. For that, you multiply by three. So we get zero less than or equal to three x less than or equal to six. So now the values for three x should lie in this interval. When this happens, then automatically the values for x will lie in this interval. Am I clear? Now, now we should write all the values for three x lying in this interval. Does one point seven seven lie in that interval? Yes. So accept. Does four point five one lie? Yes, accept. Now to get another value, we should add two pi to this. When we add two pi, I get a value. This do not lie in this interval, so I reject it. So the values we got for three x are one point seven seven and four point five one. Now to get the values for x. I should remove this three. To remove three, I divide by three. So this cancel out here. I get x. Put this in the calculator. You should get zero point five nine one. Put this in the calculator. You should get one point five zero. These are the values we got for x. This is our answer. Am I clear?